I moved down here because it was bigger. And I had bright blue walls then. <laughs> I had this amazing view. It was perfect. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. We're going to church. Through the bushes. <laughs> All that water. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. Good morning, Church of the Highlands. <laughs> Smelling water either. <laughs> <laughs> Good, Just dump it right there. Yeah. Actually, I think it's maybe done. Smell? It's yeah. not a drain. Ooh. Ooh. I think it's the air. Wow. Okay, ready? Let it go. Oh, that is pretty stinky. <laughs> Not much of a transition, guys. Sorry about that. It's, it's Sunday evening, and church was great. We got out around three, and because I had to be in meetings and help out with 401, and then we came over to my parents' house to help them move some furniture. We helped them move some furniture because they're getting their carpet, new carpet in tomorrow. And they just needed some bigger stuff moved off the carpet. Um, and now we're just doing that. Randy was doing some plumbing. And uh, that, that drain water was <laughs> not the best smell. You know, that just happens. <laughs> It's bittersweet that we're just helping them get ready to put the house on the market because this was my house. It's not the house that I actually grew up in. Well, for the majority of my life. For the first 17 years, I was in a little country home. And then we moved here my senior year of high school. So I lived here a good while, probably like, I lived here five years on and off, you know, with college and such. But I have some really amazing memories here. This was my bedroom when we first moved in, um, when I was 18, 17, 18, yeah, I was 18. Cute little space. My little brother's was right across the hall, and this one. Obviously, they looked much, much different. Let's go down the stairs. When I moved back home from my two years of my Florida college, moved back home to go to a school in Birmingham and lived there for three years. Here, obviously. I moved down here because it was bigger. And I had bright blue walls then. <laughs> and I had this amazing view. It was perfect. And I loved it. <laughs> it's much bigger than my other room. My little brother was always a little jealous that I got the big room. But he, even, when I moved out, when Randy and I got married, he eventually moved in here. So we took turns with the big room. It was fine. <laughs> so anyway, this was a little mini house tour. <laughs> Just for my memory's sake. It wasn't for you. It was for me. Guys, how's it going? It is 12.40 and we're going tomorrow to meet up with the Fletters for the first time ever. It's so exciting. I'm so stoked to see Ryan, Ariana, and Revelyn. It's just gonna be amazing. And Micah and Chelsea, we're gonna be there too. We've met them, you know, they're cool. It's just gonna be a lot of fun. I'm super stoked. What does my hair even look like? I bet it's all crazy. Cause I've been up working on things. Last night I was messing with my bike and I loosened the cable that actually changes gears for you, which is not good. And it just, I messed it up guys. I was really upset and just sad about it. 
I talked to my buddy though, James, my friend, buddy, my friend, and really like I'm looking up to him like a mentor, man. He, he knows so much about bikes and I mean a lot of other things too. Anyway, he was talking to me this morning at church like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah I can fix that. And I'm like, really? And he's like, oh God. Just so awesome to have someone in your life like that who is so dependable. Um, he's super dependable. He fixed it today. Like I dropped it off at his house because he wasn't there. And I picked it up later that night, and it's it's rideable. Like the third gear still messes up, but it's still rideable, which is cool. Won't be riding it anytime soon though, because we're gonna Chattanooga. It's not really Chattanooga. Anyway, it's close to Chattanooga though. Um, so yeah, it's exciting times. Thank you, James. You're so awesome. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Celebrated 37 year anniversary. Uh, my father in law uh, working at his job, which is wow, just like imagine working at one place for 37 years. Dedication. Dedication. I'm talking about like serious dedication. Stuck with it even when he really did not want to. So that was a lot of fun. And then we helped him move furniture, as I think you saw. Um, okay, so I think that's all I got for a year today. But I hope you've enjoyed this. And if you're happy, that like button and leave a comment down below. And we'll talk to you very soon. We will see you guys on the way to Tennessee. Love you guys. God bless.